Hey traders, welcome to pittrades.com, the nightly report. It's uh, just after the market close. Hope everybody had a great day, and we're back to the wild west of the markets. Um, let's look at a few levels here, see what's going on. Thanks to Europe, of course. This is all Europe. Uh, this is all Europe's doing uh, with all their their rumors and news and all this kind of stuff. We ended up taking. We had six straight days of of a pattern, which would be go down in the morning. Uh, and uh, make lows and then rally the rest of the afternoon and today we broke that trend and of course when we did we we closed uh, we we broke through uh, three previous lows almost got to another one but uh, not quite uh, but now we are back at the bottom of this channel we're also uh, on the EMA here the uh, 200 day EMA um, we do have some wood to chop down here I've got a number at 1205 if we get really weak that we could uh, this market could be held up by but uh, let's take a uh, look at a few of the other levels here uh, as we talked about, I was expecting more to the upside on this, but you know, news, I guys, and I said if we were to break down, it would be because of news, and of course, news came out last night, and boom, the market just absolutely tanked. Now, once we got through that 52.54 level, uh, it was off to the races. We opened up right around this uh, this uh, weekly pivot, and we just could not find to the upside. And of course, I was looking at that time. I was looking. Uh, feeling that the market was weak at that time we did try to take a long to see if we get back up to 52 we got stopped on that and we did end up getting short into this move and we did uh, find a nice nice run uh, in this move and ended up positive on the day Now you see here we did break down another level at 32 level and we held below that um, we couldn't break back up above it now to the levels to the downside I do have the 20 level that was a target of mine but it didn't quite make it there and then of course I, I've got the 12 8 so this zone now below that I have one at 13 and then down at 09 okay and then again down at 1205 so we have a lot of wood to chop down here uh, matter of fact this is probably a no trade zone if you're short still into this market then these are where you're going to take some profits I suspect that we will hit the 1220 in the Globex session all right so to the upside what are you looking for really I'm not looking to anything until we get above the 1255 maybe maybe I'll start nibbling if we can get up and close above the 1242 but probably not until we see above this 1255 do we still have a clean shot to the upside at the 1276 so guys with that it's still a squirrely market we do have a lot of news out tomorrow um, it was fairly quiet all week Bernanke speaks again tomorrow at 1045 Central Standard Time uh, we have uh, free currency traders we have uh, the BOE announcement very early at 6 a.m. Central Standard Time uh, we have international trade and jobless claims at 730 a.m. as well as uh, import export at uh, 9 a.m. I believe that is and then of course at uh, 1 o'clock p.m. we have the Treasury budget so uh, with that guys be careful be on the sidelines oop I said one thing wrong import and export prices is at 7:30 a.m. so just a, a correction there otherwise guys be safe tomorrow uh, watch your trades closely make sure you're using stops and uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow night take care